Hi, my name's Zach, this is Harrison. Today we're talking about what to look for in the hands when forming a general clinical examination. So let's get right into it. Now, this is meant as an adjunct to our videos on examining the abdomen and the chest. We're looking for peripheral signs of diseases in other systems. If you're after rheumatology or orthopaedics, I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. We'll assume for today that you've already washed your hands and consented the patient. Begin by looking at the nails. Look for splinter hemorrhages, which are tiny dark spots, and leukonychia, which are larger, pale spots. See whether the nail itself is deformed. A flattened or concave nail, known as colonychia, is often found in iron deficiency anemia, while clubbing, a loss of the nail bed angle, can be found in just about every disease ever. Or a whole lot of them anyway. Clubbing can best be identified by asking the patient to make a heart shape like so, and observing for this small diamond seen here. Absence of a gap suggests clubbing is present. Look at the palms for colour and deformity. Observe for palmar erythema, that's a redness of the palms, and for Dupuytren's contracture, a proliferation of the palmar fascia which prevents extension of the pinky and ring fingers. Now, ask the patient to hold out their hands and observe for a tremor or a flap. In a patient with asthma or COPD, a fine tremor like this can be caused by salbutamol inhalers. A flap, like this, can be caused by CO2 retention or by liver disease. Finally, don't forget to actually feel the hands. Cold fingers suggest poor peripheral perfusion. If perfusion is particularly poor, the fingers may have a bluish tinge, which we call peripheral cyanosis. Oh, and don't forget to test capillary refill by pressing gently on the nail releasing, and then counting to see how long that pink colour takes to return. Anything over about two Mississippis is abnormal. Once you've finished looking at the hands, you can move on to the rest of the exam. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, uh, why not subscribe to our channel? You can do it by uh, clicking that button there. You can see some of the other videos in our series on clinical examination, uh, just below me, just down there. And uh, want to send us some helpful feedback. Till next time.